how to add a video background to Shopify store on any theme. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can elevate your Shopify store. And instead of having a regular old picture as a background, you can enter videos into your Shopify store. So let's get into it. Now to do this, we will be editing the code and this is very easy to do and very simple to do. So you don't have to worry about it and it's going to be a really, really simple fix. So to do this, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to head on over to your Shopify dashboard. Once you open up your Shopify dashboard, you want to click on content on the left and then go into files. Once you go into files, click on upload files over here and you want to upload the file that you want to use. So for example, I have this MP4 video over here that I want to use. So I'll just click on upload over here to upload this file. So I'm just waiting for our video to be uploaded into the content section. So it might take a couple of minutes, depending on how long the video length is, it might take more or less time for your video to be completely uploaded. And I'm just going to wait for that. And now that our file is uploaded, we can find it in the file section. This is the video. Now, once we've done that, I like to open up the Shopify home tab in a new tab, simply because it makes it easier for me to copy the link of my video. Now, in our new tab on Shopify, you have to edit some code and I'll break it down step by step so you don't have to worry. And we're going to first off go into online store on the left. Once you click on online store on the left, you will have your current theme. So this is the current Shopify theme that we have. We have the Dawn theme and you'll find your live theme that will be present over here. By default, most people do, uh, do have the Dawn theme. And you're going to click on these three dots over here and click on edit code. Now, before you do that, one thing I like to do as a beginner, if you are someone that is not familiar with code, you can always duplicate your store and keep the duplicated version in your theme library. This will help you in making sure that your website, if you make any mistakes, is recoverable to its original state. But for us, we don't need to do that because this is going to be a really easy edit and anyone can follow along. So just click on these three dots and click on edit code. Once you click on edit code, this will open up the Shopify code editor. Now to show you guys an example of the difference that we will make by editing the code, if you edit or customize your Shopify store right now, you will see you have the option to create different sections. And if you click on add section, scroll to the bottom, you only have a custom liquid and then a video section. The video section needs to be played and is not a auto playing video or a background video. Instead, you have to enter an entire video. So we're gonna be editing the code to be able to add a background video. Now, in our code, what we're going to do is we are going to close up all of these sections and once you close up these folders, you will find that there are only a couple of folders and in that you have sections. So once you click on your section over here, what you're going to do is click on add a new section and you're going to keep it at dot liquid and you're going to name it background dash video background video dot liquid and click on done over here. Now, once you do that, this will have some sample code, some default code that is inserted. So you're going to delete that code. And once you delete that code, you are going to copy this code over here. Now I will leave a link to this code in the description box down below. It's a pretty long code. One thing to note is that whenever you're copying this code, because it is so long, a lot of people end up not copying, you know, a couple of lines from the end. So make sure you're copying the entire thing. We have 859 lines. Make sure you have copied it exactly from the top over here. This is where the code starts. So make sure you copy the entire thing. Just click on copy. And now in your newly created section, you're going to paste that in. Make sure to remove the default code that is inserted beforehand and then just paste that entire thing in. Once you do that, you're going to click on save. And now once you've saved this, just click on exit. Once you click on exit, you're going to go into your online store, then click on themes, and then you can click on customize over here. And once you click on customize, you can click on add section at the bottom left. And once you scroll down, once you scroll to the bottom of add section now, below the page option, you have a video background that you can insert. So click on video background over here and a new section for a video background will be added. Click on the video slide. 
once you click on the video slide, you're going to paste in the video link. Now, you can paste in a video link from YouTube. However, to make this easier, I like to go into my content section, go into files, and then just copy the video link from your own Shopify store. This is what I recommend for a fast store, for your store to have the best loading times. You want to use the uh, file section to upload your video and then just paste that in. So we're just going to paste our video link in and just like that our video background has been inserted. Once I've done that I can move this video background to the top like this and you will see we also have text customization in this. So we have our video slide and once you click on video slide if you scroll down you have the heading. So let's say I have launching soon and then I can add some more text over here which might be the best clothing retail at the lowest prices and then we also have the customization of our text color that we can do plus you can also format some of the bottom text so you can convert that into a heading as well and you can choose to make it bold you can choose to customize it with italics hyperlink it and then you can also insert a button so let's say i want to add a buy now button so now I've just changed the text color to white, the button label is by now, and then we have the button background color as black and the button text color is white as well. Now this is going to look very good, but sometimes your text visibility on a auto playing video like this can be a bit, you know, a bit bad. You guys can see that this descriptive text, if I convert it into white, I think it will be a bit more visible. So if I want, we can convert that into white as well. And I'll change the style of this as well. We have our text colors. We have a bunch of different options in this, but for this, we're gonna keep it at white. And now if I want to keep a particular color and I want to increase the visibility of my text, especially on mobile devices, you will see your text is going to scroll to the bottom like this. So I have a simple trick to fix that. Once you have inserted your background video into Shopify, click on save on the top right. Once you click on save on the top right, you're going to go back into your Shopify code. So go into online store. Once you go into online store, you're going to do the same thing. Click on edit code from here. Once you click on edit code you just want to search for base.css so you're going to find it under the asset section it just says base.css so open up base.css and go to the bottom of base.css and then you're going to copy this code so this is a very simple code that you're going to enter and it's only 13 lines make sure to copy it properly and then go into your code editor on shopify and in the bottom of base.css you're going to paste in that code so go to the bottom click on the last line and then paste in the code click on save once you click on save and you go back into your store click on customize and you will see that your video visibility for the text is going to be fixed for the mobile version so you guys can see now instead of the text scrolling to the bottom on the mobile version instead it is appearing completely and it's looking good on the phone version as well as the mobile version so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and you are now able to add a video background on shopify this can help you in elevating your store and making it much much more professional if you did find this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and if you have any questions or queries leave those in the comment box down below i would love to know what you guys have to say